Aptera Motors, an electric vehicle startup, hopes to begin production of its three-wheel solar EV before the end of the year or early next year. On the last day of 2022, the business revealed the production intent design for Aptera, demonstrating the progress it has made on its solar-powered three-wheeler. The Aptera's stated major design goal is to be the world's most energy-efficient mass-production car. To considerably improve its range, the design incorporates an aerodynamic shape, lightweight carbon fiber and fiberglass composite materials, wheel hub motors, and built-in solar panels. Aptera was on the radar a decade ago as an early EV startup. The manufacturer has returned in its second iteration, and it is now closer than ever to achieving the holy grail in its nascent but unproven market. Aptera shared a delicious progress update towards scaled solar EV production a few days ago. That's what we've got for you today. Body, which is in progress now. Then, a coordinate measuring machine is used to inspect and validate these parts for thickness and surface tolerance, also currently happening. Finally, we'll bond them together to form the full bink and validate the full structure again. But this time we're looking for tolerance of the body closures. What's cool is that these body parts you're looking at now have already gone through a thorough validation process. Hello and thanks for stopping by. To avoid missing any of our new videos, please like, subscribe, and enable the bell notification feature. Sharing is greatly valued and we appreciate your participation and feedback in the comments section below. Rather than creating a high-end luxury EV, it is attempting to make the most efficient EV possible, a vehicle so efficient that inbuilt solar panels may supply a significant portion of its charging needs. It's been a long road, but the business is close to releasing a vehicle with production purpose which will be used for more testing and certification in the coming months. Just a friendly reminder, the Aptera vehicle's development was scheduled to proceed through a series of prototype phases, Alpha, Beta, Gamma, and finally Delta. Three Alpha prototypes were constructed in order to test the fundamental vehicle concept and give rough functionality. The functional enhancements learned from the Alpha prototypes were included into the Beta prototype. Delta would be the production intent vehicle, while Gamma would iron out production details. Aptera revealed a thorough strategy to build up in-wheel motor manufacture in Slovenia by LFE in June 2022. A new 160,000 square foot R&D and production center will generate up to 100,000 units per year. Aptera has selected Maxim Solar Technologies to supply solar cells for the Aptera car in October 2022. The Gamma Aptera prototype 2022 was unveiled in December with a touchscreen center console, increased head and legroom. Aptera said in January 2023 that it will require $50 million to begin assembly. It soon got a $21 million grant from the California Energy Commission, CEC. The accelerator program has since surpassed that matching grant level. Aptera announced its usage of Kama AI's Open Pilot Driving Assistance System in March 2023. Aptera's partner CPC has stamped the first Aptera body in Carmen, Binsi parts for production equipment at its Modena, Italy manufacturing facility as of September 2023. As of 2023, the Aptera SEV has over 40,000 bookings. Aptera launched an accelerator program with the launch of its Launch Edition Solar EV, prioritizing deliveries to customers who commit to an order in exchange for crowdfunding to purchase the necessary equipment to get manufacturing up and running. Aptera continues to raise funding to sustain its body in carbon, bin C, assembly process through its current validation phase and beyond with little over 500 of the 2,000 manufacturing slots remaining available. According to Aptera's most recent progress report, it has procured more than 60% of the necessary equipment and tools to produce its bin C stamping dies and post-processing tools are included. Some of the most expensive aspects of the production process that require the longest lead times to be commissioned and delivered. Manufacturing partner CPC Group in Italy is stamping and validating production parts for PI builds, that is, production intent vehicles. ...made of hardened steel, designed to press carbon fiber SMC with up to 5,000 tons of force into precise forms for our body panels. The post-process tooling refers to the additional equipment used after the initial pressing to refine and complete parts for their intended use in our solar EVs. These tools are currently in action, pressing the parts for our production intent builds, or as we like to call them around here, PI builds. Our first builds will be progress builds as we add more and more of the production intent items. This allows us to ramp up to full PI builds. 
PI builds are the vehicles that our team will use for further testing and validation of many parts and systems over the coming months, including suspension, brakes, airbags, thermal, and more. The first stage in making our PI builds is creating the body in carbon, or the bink. Aptera is prepping the lines and procuring equipment for solar panel and battery manufacturing at its headquarters in San Diego. The startup will test these vehicles in the next months, which will appear and behave like the solar EVs that will hopefully be available to customers someday. Before completing the vehicle assembly process at Aptera's new factory outside San Diego, California, all six body components will be completed and validated into a complete bin C, linking front and rear subframes to the EV to structural battery pack. Aptera's development stages leading up to the present validation phase comprise the following. Concept and idea generation, engineering and design, system advancement, simulation and modeling of computational fluid dynamics, CFD, vehicle dynamics testing and prototyping, solar testing and small-scale production, choosing and sourcing suppliers, manufacturing strategy. Production intent testing and validation will be followed by thorough safety and crash testing, which will be fine-tuned and optimized to ensure future passenger safety. Aptera then intends to validate its solar EV production techniques in order to expedite the entire process. There is no particular date for when production will begin, but Aptera appears to be closer than ever, thanks to its community of customers and investors who trust in its potential. Aptera's crew will evaluate suspension and dampeners, brake systems, airbags, thermal systems, the powertrain and batteries, software, and other components throughout the testing and validation phase. Following that will be safety and crash testing as well as regulatory compliance inspections and quality assurance. Manufacturing equipment and assembly lines will be fine-tuned and tested throughout the manufacturing validation phase to expedite manufacturing processes and maximize precision. What's cool is that these body parts you're looking at now have already gone through a thorough validation process. In fact, those green stickers you see mean they've passed the test and can be used to make our PI builds. Let's check in with Chris and Steve in Italy for a behind the scenes look. Hey, I'm Chris. I'm Steve. We're here with the amazing team at CBC, looking at this wonderful 5,000 ton press and producing the parts for your app chair. We had a chance to look at some of the first parts up close and lights on them. I'll show you nice pictures of them, but it's amazing to see groups of work come to fruition. And these aren't just pre-production parts or prototype parts or validation parts. These are the parts that we can put on the shelf to the door at Terra. They've already gone through a dimensional validation process here at CPC, so all of that's been sorted out. It's amazing to see these parts come off the press. This is actually the two dies that produce our hood parts, and they're still warm, even though they were producing parts yesterday. They've just come off. It is actually a great deal sticking around till this point. Here's a quick recap of what to do before a new video is published. First up, be mindful of our uploading schedule and timing. You can also keep up with new video uploads by clicking the like, subscribe, and notification buttons. To freely support of work, you can return the favor by making this channel your home for valued information, sharing our content, and letting us know what you think in the comment section below. Thanks for watching this episode and more videos will be up soon. See you then.